Hey, good morning, guys. Pulling up right here on a very icy road. There we go. Making sure the car could get up here. But uh, we're here in Glen Beulah today. Um, on the Ice Age Trail, of course. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get in some miles right now. And looks like no one's been here on the trail, of course. we got the poles out today. It's just clear ice everywhere. Um, really cold temps. But uh, we're just getting situated here, and then we'll hit the trail. This has got to be some of the most treacherous terrain. Um, icy trail. Cold as hell out here um, that I've ever been in. Um, it's going to be a tough 14 miles out here. Um, but, um, no excuses. So, yeah, I don't expect to see anyone out here. I'm pretty certain that my phone will probably be on. But we're going to get moving. And I uh, just wanted to make note of that. that uh, yeah, this is probably some of the toughest terrain, you know, icy wise, snow wise that I've ever been on. Um, and I'm feeling it. Hey y'all guys, I'm in this new rerouted section here of the Ice Age Trail. So I'm going to cross the interstate here, well, Highway 23, and it looks like we're going to go straight under an overpass here. But yeah, look at these conditions, just straight ice everywhere. Um, a nice layer of snow on top though, so you can't really see the ice. Um, but yeah, that was last night. But yeah, let's head through here. And, uh, yeah, so you just come underneath these little overpasses here and then right back onto the trail right across these so yeah before this was made um you'd have to cross 23 so pretty dangerous but yeah warming up good guys i'm feeling okay it's gonna be a good adventure today all right Figured I'd stop a little bit here and, and get the talk in. Uh, I'm gonna take in some calories. Um, it's kind of hard to um, film with the poles, um, but uh, just taking a little quick break here, get the calories in. Plus, this stuff is like almost frozen, so these gummies are pretty hard. Um, but yeah. We're about four, three and a half miles in, and it took me about an hour. So we're on 52 minutes. Slow pace today, but really enjoying this winter weather. Um, uh, got the big uh, head covering on today, the full, uh, full hood, full face mask. Uh, got a smart wool hat on too. So we're staying pretty warm, but hands. They're getting a lot of use with the poles. Um, first time I've used poles since my 50 mile. So, getting used to them again and kind of building that arm strength. Um, you know, I do lift weights, but using these poles, your arms will get sore like they've never been before. So, you're assisting yourself up a hill, stuff like that. You've got to get used to it. Uh, otherwise, you will not be able to move your arms probably uh, deep into 100 mile. This is going to be really slow today. But, like I've always said before in my training, I'm not worried about pace. I'm worried about fast hiking. I'm worried about keeping movement going and just, you know, that forward progression. Doesn't matter what the pace is. Yeah, I just fell coming down a hill straight on the back of my head. It's icy out here. Look at this. I bought my headlamp right off the top of my head. Draw my poles. Ooh, that one hurt. I don't think I've ever fell that bad. right here right there Ooh. oh it landed right on that rock right here but we'll keep moving man Ooh. gotta watch it it's icy over here yeah and you can just see it right ahead here all these trails are just covered in that ice from that one warm day we had and oof just gonna take a second here and take a breather and
Yeah, I think I'm all recovered from that fall. I was hoping I didn't hit my head too hard and uh, maybe get a concussion or something because I fell hard, knocked the wind out of myself. Um, I just checked my pack to make sure I didn't break my glasses too. Um, but we're all set. But yeah, slow moving today. This is one to remember, you know. Um, yeah. I should have definitely put on my yak tracks, but just a lesson, you know what I mean? And that's what you're, that's what it's all about coming out here. Is every time I come out here, no matter what season it is, you know, I've been out here hundreds of times. Probably not hundreds, but at least 50 times um, here in the Kettle Marine area. Um, I learned something, so. And, you know, ultra running, adventuring, um, long distance movements, um, you always learn. Um, depending on the terrain you're in, you know, what works, what doesn't work. What do I bring in this season? How many layers do I wear? It's always fun. Alrighty, just made it to group camp here. Uh, we're about, I'd say six and a quarter in. I'm um, just doing seven and then turning around, obviously getting that 14 in. But man, it's pretty cold down here at group camp. Drop elevation a little bit and uh, pretty breezy through these woods. But uh, yeah, really quiet, of course, and uh, no one in sight, but beautiful. You know, there is a lot more snow than I expected in some of these trails. Um, you know, some of the drifts are four or five inches, so um, definitely a lot more snow than they expected. But we're making do with what we can and keeping these legs moving and keeping that forward progression. Even after the little, the little tumble I had. Kind of dazed me for a second too, to be honest. Um, but recovered and just keep it honest, you know, it's slippery. Getting that wind on my face on the way back here. We're almost 10 miles in. And uh, I used that Mojito uh, Power Bar gel, the one with caffeine and oh boy, am I feeling it. I took a three week, three week break from caffeine. So 50 milligrams hits me hard. Um, I'm trying to li limit my caffeine intake and not drink any coffee or anything like that. So um, just using caffeine as a tool, a training tool. Um, and I don't want to become addicted to it. Um, so like I was. So kind of just dropping things slowly here and uh, focusing on the training and using caffeine as a training tool. Alrighty, just finished guys. 14 miles in the bag on this cold and windy and icy morning here in Wisconsin. But you know, this is just regular winter. We put up with it and uh, you know, the training doesn't stop just because it's a little icy or windy. So let's head on home and get some food.